But since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam What's with going on, guys? Shoot. Welcome back to another beer mail video. Uh, second one in a week, I think. Um, this beer mail package comes courtesy of my fantastic and amazing buddy Nathan, uh, who resides in the great state of Kansas. Um, this was a result of a bet that we had. Um, he is a Kansas City Royals fan, and I, of course, am a San Francisco Giants fan. And they so happened to play each other in the World Series, and we decided to have a friendly little bet. And originally, um, we were talking about like doing some sort of Usually, like when teams from, or uh, when the teams get together, like in a Super Bowl or World Series, the mayors of the respective cities will bet each other, and they'll send something from each other's city as part of payment. Um, and originally, he tweeted me, he's like, "Hey, you know, if you want to do some kind of bet like that, Kansas City's known for great barbecue. We can do something like that." And I just told him, like, I don't physically live in San Francisco, so there wouldn't be anything I'd be able to send if the Giants were. To have lost that from you know from San Francisco, so um, him him being a huge beer guy, me being a beer guy, we are brothers in beer. Uh, I just said, hey, why don't we, you know, do a beer bet? And you know, loser just puts a package together of beers from you know where we're at or around us, um, and so we're guaranteed, you know, the winner is guaranteed to get beer that they can't get their hands on um, otherwise. So that's what uh, that's what happened. Luckily, the Giants ended up pulling it out in seven games. Um, but I had a blast uh, texting and tweeting uh, and tweeting with him during the series. Um, he was super gracious the whole time. Um, really, really good sport about everything. Easy to talk to. Very knowledgeable about baseball. So, um, Nathan, thank you so much for paying your end of the bet. You are a gentleman for doing that. I, there's been plenty of bets that I've won in my life that uh, have never been paid. So, I really, really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, it's like a it's a massive beer mail package. There's a ton of beers. I think he said he sent doubles of a bunch of stuff, just so I could you know drink some and if I want to share some, whatever. Maybe I'll even pay some of these forward and send them to some friends. Um, you know the old uh, good beer karma. Um, but while we're doing that, we are drinking. See that? This camera does not focus very well. Grapefruit Sculpin, one of my absolute favorite beers, and out of proper glassware. I'm not afraid to drink crap beer out of a bottle, ever. So, let's get this started. I don't, I'm trying, I'm, not, I'm going to try and not make this a super long video, but there's a, there's a lot of beers in here, so let's get to it. Let's see, I should have come more prepared. And I do want to apologize in advance. I had a new microphone, and I think this thing picks up sound like crazy. So stuff like this is probably going to be super annoying. So maybe I should do it like this. I think every little sound out here, especially since there's no insulation in the garage door yet, and there's no uh, carpet, it's going to be really, really sensitive. I tried messing with the levels, but I have no clue what I'm doing when it comes to that. probably them. Oh man, <laughs> started out with a freaking good one. First uh, beer. Backwoods Bastard by Founders. Holy crap. This is their, uh, their, it's a scotch ale I think and it's aged in bourbon barrels. This is the 2014 uh, version. 10.2% alcohol by volume, 50 IBUs. This actually just got released so that's a freaking amazing beer to start with. This beer is supposed to be incredible. And I cannot get Founders beer here, so wow. We are off to a very good start. I should have I should have learned my lesson from the last time I got a beer mail package and got all this stuff ready, but whatever. How's everyone doing tonight? Good? You guys like beer mail videos? I think they're fun. All right, second beer, another Founders beer. Dark Penance, I don't know if that's gonna focus or not. Um, I think this is, yeah, it's an Imperial Black India Pale Ale. This one's 8.9% alcohol by volume, 100 IBUs. So another Founders beer. Again, I can't get Founders beer here and I am absolutely stoked that he sent me some Founders. 
the couple founders beers that I've had, I absolutely love. So <laughs> this is great. Founders doesn't really uh, do much on their bottles as far as like text or anything. I'm only two beers in, and these could have been the only two beers that he sent, and I would have been absolutely stoked on it. Two amazing beers to start off. Uh, here's, okay, so here's another Backwoods Bastard. So I got two of those, sweet. I was reading about those. Uh, I don't know if I can just uh, age one of those. I don't want to say cellar because I don't have a cellar correct temperature. I call it aging when it's in a refrigerator. I think that's right. Is that right? It's a proper terminology for that. All right. So the next beer, I believe that's pronounced mercenary. It is a double IPA from Odell Brewing. I've actually never heard of this beer before. Um, I've never, I mean, I don't, I'm familiar with Odell. Cannot get it here. Um, this is a 9.3% alcohol by volume beer. Another big beer, a double IPA. Really, really looking forward to that one. If any of you guys that are watching this have had any of these, let me know what you think of these beers before I have them. I'm curious as to, uh, I mean, these are all beers that I've never tried. Curious as to what everyone else thinks of them. I mean, Nathan's got one of the more ridiculous beer collections I've ever seen. So I'm guessing all these beers are just ridiculously awesome. The next beer is from, I think you pronounce that, uh, Schlaf Schlafly, is that right? Schla Schlafly? Tasmanian IPA. I've actually heard of this beer. I heard it's freaking amazing. Um, it's a Tasmanian style India Paleo. I don't know what Tasmania style means. 7.2% alcohol by volume. From, I think it's Schlafly. Can't get Schlafly. Is it Schlafly or Schlafly? I don't know. I can't get these beers out of here, so I'm really, really looking forward to this beer. Dude, this is freaking crazy so far. Beer mail packages are seriously the best. I sent, uh, there's a couple that I sent out in the past week. I'm looking forward to the guys getting them. I've been trading with, so. Dan, you got a, a package coming, Ty, my, my good friend. You got one on your way too, buddy. Uh, here's another of the Mercenary, double IPAs. So I got two of those, sweet. Nathan, my brother, you didn't have to send this many beers, dude. I mean, I know that we talked about, you know, betting and all that good stuff, but this is, you've gone above and beyond anything I ever expected. And I apologize for this video being so long. I should have just unwrapped these before I started, but then it wouldn't have been any, it wouldn't have been any fun. There would have been no surprises. All right, next beer is Ivan the Terrible. Looks like it's an Imperial Stout, brewed by Big Sky in Montana. I actually can get Big Sky beers out here. Um, I've never seen this beer before, though. This is a 9.5 percent Imperial Stout, dude. He's just sending massive beers. He's trying to get me hammered. And I like that. And I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna obviously review all these. I mean, I'll get to all of them at some point, so. I have so many freaking beers in the fridge to, uh, to review. Luckily for me, I mean, the IPAs I'm gonna do as soon as I can. Um, the stouts and the, like the founders, I can, I can sit on those for a little bit and not worry about having to do those right away. Uh, next is another of the Schlafly, Schlafly, <laughs> Schlafly, <laughs> Tasmanian IPAs. Awesome. I can't believe he sent two of all these. This is crazy. It's like a Mary Poppins box. It's just never ending. I'm really hoping these noises aren't crazy with this microphone. They probably are, though. No, that's sorry. Apologize. Uh, next beer, Bell's Expedition Stout. I actually have one of these in my fridge. Um, I got a beer mail package from Ty a couple weeks ago, and one of these was in there. So I haven't drank it yet, though. So I'm glad I've got a couple of them now. I've heard 
amazing things about Expedition Stout. Seriously, if you guys have never uh, traded beers before with people, you need to. There is nothing better than getting packages of beer in the mail. It's like, it's Christmas time. I'm opening gifts of booze. <laughs> and the best part is, is everyone who's around me is gonna be able to enjoy these too. So Nathan, you're hooking me up and a bunch of my buddies. Uh, next one is another bottle of Dark Penance. Awesome. Seriously, I've, I'm already a 12 pack into this. It's incredible. And there's still one, two, three, four, there's like six beers left. Hooker sent me an 18 pack. Seriously, you, I'm in debt now. Talk about paying a bet, dude. Good lord. Uh, next one is a second bottle of Ivan the Terrible. Freaking amazing. That bottle is sweet, dude. That guy reminds me of uh, any old school WWF fans. Boris Zukov, remember him? He was Nikolai Volkov's <laughs> uh, tag team partner. Totally reminds me of him. This looks like... Seriously, is it fun watching someone open beer like this? It's exciting for me. I actually, I like watching, I go on YouTube and I search beer mail. <laughs> I watch all the beer mail package videos. I don't know why, dude. I feel like I'm getting like a part of that beer. I get excited. Uh, another bottle of Expedition Stout, sweet. I'm gonna throw these in the fridge. I, can, I mean, we'll be able to hang, hang on to these. This is a, uh, does it say on here? I wanna say this is a big, big beer. Yeah, dude, 10.5% alcohol by volume. That's like a good Christmas time beer, which we are right around the corner from. Next one, we got a couple left. So I'm almost done. We're 12 minutes into this, sorry. I apologize for the long video. Next time I'll just open all of them and then it won't be exciting for me and we'll just show everyone what I got. <laughs> Next one, oh sweet. Harvest Ale by Founders. I've heard this beer is freaking amazing. Um, kind of along the lines of the uh, Born Yesterday that I just reviewed from, uh, it's escaping me, Lagunitas. Same kind of thing, fresh hop ale from, uh, or IPA from Founders. I've heard great, great things. This is still super fresh too. This was bottled on September 30th, so we're still perfect. I'm gonna drink that one this week. Next one. Oh, that's another one of those. Sick. Two freaking bottles of Harvest Ale. Dude, two bottles of Harvest Ale, two bottles of Backwoods Bastard, two, two of everything. Tasmanian IPA, this is crazy. You guys need to become beer friends with Nathan. <laughs> he doesn't have a YouTube channel or I would link to him. So for now, he will remain, uh, he'll remain private. There's two left, so this is second to last one. This is, oh, you know, he actually sent me a, a message about this. This is Hop Slam. Um, this is the 2014 bottle though. So this beer is almost a year old. Um, I'm actually interested to see, I've never had Hop Slam before and he sent me a text going, hey, have you ever had Hop Slam? I bought way too much last year and I realized I still had some. I'm like, no, I've never had it. Um, I mean, they say not to age IPAs, so no clue what this is going to be like. It was bottled on December the 27th, 2013. So this is almost a year old. Um, I don't know. Holy crap. That bottle cap is amazing. It won't focus. It's a dude getting crushed by hops. Um, he said not to do a review of this one. I think Hop Slam comes out in January. So if I get, uh, if I can somehow get my hands on the 2015 Hop Slam. Maybe we'll do like a side by side 2014 versus 2015 to kind of see how it ages. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I mean, this is a another one. 10%. The beer is not bad, but it's obviously not going to be as hoppy as it's supposed to be. So uh, maybe we'll do that. 
It's gonna be fun. Let's see here, we got one left. What are we gonna end on? Holy crap. <laughs> Talk about saving the best for last. You kidding me? That's a Prairie Artisan Ale Pirate Bomb. Um, Pirate Bomb is basically Prairie Bomb that is aged in rum barrels. This is a freaking ridiculously hard to get beer right here. Um, wow, thank you so much. Uh, Prairie's out of Oklahoma. I've been trying my hardest to get bottles of just regular Prairie Bomb and I can't get it. I'm having a really, really hard time. So the fact that he sent me this one, it's I, I'm pretty sure what it is, it's their uh, prairie bomb that's it's aged in rum barrels, so they call it pirate. The rum makes it pirate. This is 14% alcohol by volume. So, man, I am blown away. This is crazy. Check this out. Look at all those sick beers, dude. Holy crap. Nathan, you are the man. Which one is this one? My OCD is getting the best of me. There we go. Look at that. Instant. Midwest collection of beer right there. I'm blown away. Sir, you are the man. Thank you so, so much. And I also want to thank the San Francisco Giants for winning the World Series. So, <laughs> um, That's going to wrap this one up. I'm done. Sorry for such a long video. 16 minutes, I know, is crazy. If you made it to the end, thanks for sticking with it. Um, if you like these beer mail videos, let me know. Give them a thumbs up. I'll keep doing them. Um, I've got more beer coming. I'm constantly trading with people and sending beer and receiving beer. And if you want to trade for anything, if there's any kind of West Coast San Diego beers you're looking for, let me know. We can definitely do that. I'll make videos for every single person who sends uh, beer who I trade with. So um, this is amazing. I'm going to get all these in the fridge. I can't wait to start drinking these. So Nathan, again, thank you so, so much. And thank you guys for watching as always. Thank you for liking these videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing them. Um, and then, like I said, if you've had any of these beers, let me know what you think. And if this new microphone is crazy and it's way too loud out here now with this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, uh, I will see you guys later. Until next time, cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.